Hi there, my name is Marcy and in this video I am going to share with you what I've learned while playing coffee and playing with some markers. Um, this is what I made. It's kind of like a little forest with the moon on top of the ground, kind of, I don't know, whimsical, kind of different um, art. You can try to do this um, for your walls too. Just look what I'm doing. I'm just putting some coffee into some mixed media paper and I will link all of the materials down below for you. Um, this is just some dry um, instant coffee and I'm just trying to spreading it, moving it around, trying to get it a little darker in some places, trying to make mountains but it didn't work so I'm just playing with this, um, trying to see if I can come up with some other kind of weird texture. So this is pretty much what I am doing um, whenever I have some free time. Hard to get around here, homeschooling the kids in this weird scenario, um, but anyways. This is, um, it's been pretty cool to craft with them and experiment for myself too. And I really love coffee. I'm kind of like a coffee addict. I can have three to four cups a day sometimes. And I know it's not good and I know that's not healthy, but um, sometimes I need it. I need that extra boost of energy. And you can only eat so much fruit, right? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding you my sons hurt me oh my god okay so I'm trying to make this moon and I try to do like a light color of coffee first and now I'm adding a little bit darker than I went around it now I'm adding some salt to get some cool moon texture kind of thing and I'm trying to define this moon shape I don't want it to be perfect but I do want it to be sort of roundish and I want to have that um, border that it creates around itself with the coffee and now I want to work in the background and for this I'm gonna sponge some coffee in here um I have all these techniques with my coffee pattern paper dye like do-it-yourself um pattern papers and you can see me how I do it on my papers and I talk more into detail on that but here I'm just playing with different techniques that I've used for the papers and also they are for free so that if you go to one of my video um, videos on coffee pattern paper you will be able to print them out and use them as you like just give me credit for them in case you want to share them or sell your work um, anyhow now that um, the moon is almost done I wanted to reactivate some of that moon coffee to have some white splotches and to do that you need to add a little bit of water so I took my Tombow um, spray and I went to town so here it's when it's dry and then I scan them I scan my work and just to play with it before I go to the actual artwork not like I'm gonna sell it or anything I'm just gonna keep it for me but I like to experiment before I do the whatever final project I want to do on my piece. So here I'm using some silver Signo um, pen. Let me see if I remember the name. The Uniball Signo broad silver pen. And you can see that it does not take Sharpie. So after you apply it, if you go over it, Sharpie won't take on top of it. So that's one thing I learned here. And I'm trying to do this kind of forest tree kind of layout but it won't go on top of that um signo pen and it was dry so i decided not to use the silver and just you go with black and here i'm just going really quickly over the little trees but um this goes to show that you can just make art out of coffee and a sharpie and some salt obviously <laughs> but anyways guys if you want to see more of my daily not YouTube artwork, go over to my Instagram and follow me at Mix It Up Marcy, and I post um, more often there. So, anyhow, here it's what it looks like, and thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something from my small, short, fast um, video. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye!